And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at this game from Hungary, a gumi, or I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'll use the English word which is fruity. Okay, this game is about fruits. That's what it is. It's a fruit memory game. The game actually is for two to eight players. Eight's kind of pushing it here, seven's kind of pushing it. We'll say two to five, because that seems much more reasonable. Although you can play with more. Let me show you how it works and I'll be back. There's a big deck of cards, and in this cards are different types of fruits. You can see here peaches and uh, strawberries and apples and... Uh, there's uh, grapes, there's also plums and pears, and there's four of every card in a deck, and they're numbered one through five. So for example, there's 20 strawberries in a deck, four ones, four twos, four threes, four fours, and four fives. Depending on the number of players, you may have to remove some cards from the deck. So in a four player game, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I take 10 cards out of the deck. Now on my turn, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take either the top card of the deck or one of the cards on top of the four discard piles, because it's a four-player game. If it was a five-player game, there'd be five discard piles, etc. So I could take this card, or one of these cards. So I take this card and put it face up in front of me, and then replace this card. On my next turn, I say, oh, I'm going to take that one pair and put that face up over here. And then on my next turn, I'll say, uh, I'll take the five peach and put that face up here. And then on my next turn, I draw the top card here. It's a one strawberry, I don't want that, so I just discard that onto another draw pile. And you'll keep doing that. Now, when you take a card that is the same one that you already have, you put it on top. This shows that I have two pairs over here, but the first one's a one, the second one's a three, but I cover up the numbers. So now I have to remember, and so does anybody else who's trying to watch me, what numbers I have where. So as I put other cards on top, and you can only have five cards in each pile in front of you. This will continue until this deck is gone. Then you're going to take a look at each pile and score it. Now the thing is, you don't need to collect the cards in order, but you do need the cards in order. So let's say I have three plums and they are three, two, three, and four. I don't have a one, so this scores me absolutely nothing. Then let's say I have a one, a two, and a four grapes. Well, I have a one and a two, so I will score for having two cards. Those two cards are going to score me three points. There's a little chart in the book here that you can see that shows you, you know, if you get five, you get 11 points. And if you get just a one, you get one point. One, three, five, eight, and 11. Um, but you got to be careful because, I mean, what you're looking for is getting this ultimate combo, of course, which here is the one, two, three, four, and five strawberries. That's 11 points. But let's say I got a one, two, three, and a five, five of pairs. I get nothing. I don't even get points for the one through three. I get nothing if there's any duplicate numbers. So if you have no one, nothing. And if you have duplicate numbers, nothing. You add up all your scores, and whoever has the most points is the winner of the game. It's interesting. I haven't played with more than six, but even six is pushing it because everybody is drawing a card and you're looking around the table and it's very scarce. Ones are really powerful the more players you have. The game seems to work really well three and four player. And essentially, it is what it is. It's a memory game. Okay? You draw cards and you should look at the cards. You're like, hmm, where am I going to put it? You put it in front of you. But it's a very friendly memory game. It's easy. I mean, the, you're sitting there, you're, only, you're trying to keep track of all your different fruits, and at first you got, okay, that's a one, three, four, that's a two, two, th I mean, that's a two, four, three, and, he, and, you, and you have these things, but as time goes by, I don't know, I can never keep track of all of them. There'll be one I'm like, I know I got one through five there. I know it. There'll be other one like, I got four cards, but what, what, what card am I missing? Am I missing the three or the four? And I find that mildly entertaining. It, it's, it's entertaining. Now, the artwork is phenomenal. These cards are just, just poof, they just shoot out at you. They're, they're great illustrations. This is one of the coolest looking games. I mean, it's just a pile of fruit, and yet they just look good. It makes me want to eat fruit, which is a good thing to do after playing this game. So, easy to go. Everyone's just drawing cards. It's one of those games you can kick back and talk during, but I liked it. It's nothing really that new, but keeping track of these different things and drawing those and sometimes pushing your luck and saying, I think three pear is what I need, and I think a four plum is what I need. 
and that's, I don't know, this is the kind of game I would give as a gift to, you know, maybe some grandparents or some, you know, a family who's looking for a fun game that everyone could play, even down to the youngest players. It's not that difficult to get into. And it's a cool little package too. Fruity. Thanks to our judgment. Approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.